Hey guys, Zumper here, back with uh, the seventh episode of uh, Diddy Kong Racing Month. And uh, today, I'm gonna do that. we are going to be doing, I don't know. So <laughs> good I am at this game. Let's see, where are we? Ha! We're not doing challenges, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Gotta love those challenges. Gosh darn it, Taj. Oh, I need to go get the other balloons real quick. <laughs> did I? Oh yeah, I did get the one up here. It's been fine. Since I'm like halfway done, I'm like 2.5 of the way done with the game. Because I've done two worlds and I've done half of one world, so we might as well get the balloons. <laughs> Bruh. I did everything but get the balloon. There we go. There we go. I think I'm going to do a 100% uh, run of this game. I don't know. Uh, I don't really <laughs> ask or anything, but I think I'm going to be doing a 100% for people who are watching of uh, Diddy Kong Racing. So that should be fun. Oh, now we're doing silver coins. This definitely should be pretty fun. Oh yay, Whale Bay! <laughs> ha! At least I can skip through these. Uh, thank you so much, Diddy. Diddy, you. Oh wow, you could get a purple balloon if you went back that way. Really interesante. Oh yeah, on this octopus race, I'm literally pulling everything out of the bag. I'm not even gonna bother uh, trying to do it legit. I'm gonna just try and get it over with. So I know I haven't really gotten any silver coins at all, um, and that is for a good reason. I gotta make sure I get those bananas, that way I can beat all these noobs. And actually I have one, okay, let me get that one this time, I'll get it next time. And if I don't, I won't win the race. Uh, DK doesn't know shortcuts, you're prank noob. The silver coins nothing? Good. Crap, where's the other silver coin? I have no idea where the last silver coin is. See, I'm used to the uh, more difficult Adventure 2 silver coins. Hold on, me. Wait, wait. It's probably up on the sandbank. We're very close to it. There it is. Oh, this thing. Yeah, you have to hop up there, otherwise you crazily... I mean, it's so deceptive. You can, like... If you try and turn it all up there, you completely miss it. It's crazy. Come on, I wish you could do the uh, battle twice. I like Dark Water Beach. Crescent Island. Yay! <laughs> An easy one. Crescent Island. So I don't know how many. Let's see, I should beat Boss 2 in this episode. And then I'll beat uh, Dragon Force 1 in episode 8. And this will probably take me like 10 or 11 episodes. How many did I say 13? Yeah, I said 13. Shouldn't take me 13. Let's see. Oh, there's a silver coin. Oh, there is one up here. I do know that. Yep. Oh, there should be one down here. Nope. Oh. Oh, hitbox. Yeah, definitely the silver coins have the craziest hitbox in this game. Yeah, people say they don't like silver coin challenges. I think it's like the best mechanic in in like learning the levels in this game. Oh, okay, there's a... Uh, <laughs> I went out of my way to get a silver coin, and there's nothing there. But uh, I was saying that I think it's like a really good game to get... Oh, wait, there's one over here. So the last one's over there. I think it's like a really... Because it, it helps teach you the tracks. I mean, it's not like, like say if you just got Mario Kart 64, you just got like this game. I'm sure you'd know the track, but if you didn't know there was a shortcut right here, you'd be like, oh, the silver coin showed me that. So people think that like Greenwood Village is a really hard silver coin. Sure, you have to go way out of your way to get all the silver coins, but at least it shows you all of the track. So that way if you're if you invite a friend over who's never played this game before, you have the upper hand. If you've beaten the adventure. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact, uh, Treasure Island is on the other side. Because we actually don't go to the other side, we go to right here. That other side, that, that is that's Treasure Caves. Ten out of ten wood best again. Wow! <laughs> Sorry, I had to cut that out. 
Oh wow, there's only four? Is that loud? Holy crud. I think I might get the Grand Prix out of the way. This game, or this episode, depends on how long it takes. Alright, let's get this. I'm not used to that. We're only like four. We're only like four minutes in. It's not bad. Yeah, definitely gonna have to spend this lap getting all the silver coins in. Because there's this one all the way out here. Oh dear. <laughs> I think that actually kind of helped. Just a little bit. I love the echoiness in here. And then there's a silver coin at the end of these bananas. Oh, I think I saw this the other day. I was, uh, oh, whew, it's like I shot the silver coin out of him. Uh, got him all first lap. Okay. Now, Conquer, see, Conquer and Diddy are way far ahead. When you think they're uncatchable, that's because they probably are. <laughs> Let's see if your boy can pull in the clutch thing. I probably will use some speedrun strats here just to get myself back up. In the first place. So, second, not bad. Oh, that would have been so cool if I'd sniped him. So, if he gets this boost. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, if I can get the balloon and the boost, it might be good. But I didn't get the balloon and the boost. So, it just didn't make any difference. I'm still whooping that conquer booty. Nice. Let's screw this up. Oh, okay, so glad I had that boost, because I, I think I still made it, but it's still a little shaky. Oh, gosh. Literally the worst... You're about to see the exact worst feeling I've ever had in a video game. Not this level. After this. Well, that depends. There's been some... Oh, okay, I had to drift hard in that person. And I'm in sixth. Yeah, definitely need to get... See, I hate how deceptive the silver coin is. If you don't drift there, I guess it's not a problem. You kind of run into it naturally because that's your focus. But they're so deceptive sometimes. Like, they look like they're there. Nope. Yeah, you gotta love that. They make you have to... Get... I mean, you could get both of them on the uh, first lap. But... Oh, that was about to be really cool. You could get both those silver coins right here at the first lap, but I mean, it's not suggested. See, you can already be way far ahead, and then just, it's a minor setback. And though I do love, like, gliding across the ground, using those two green boosts. Oh, it's the best feeling ever. Oh, this does share Pilot Pirate Lagoon. I was about to say, this is like one of my favorite tracks. Now, here comes the bad part. I kind of wanted to go press S because I thought it was uh, still streaming. But, yeah, my hair is getting too long. I can't spike it up. Every time I try and spike it up, this. This is the worst feeling ever because I'm like, ugh, I have to do this again. But, okay, let's get the camera down just a little bit. Okay. I was literally fading back. I didn't even, I didn't want to go in. I, I really did. I didn't want to go in at all. Frick this game, man. What screw this dude? I'm gonna beat him. What? I feel like he sped up because I was ahead of him. Oh my gosh, RNG log. Stop it. This is not a randomly generated log. Okay. How does TT beat this guy so good? Maybe I should use Crunch. This is a bumper LP. What if this guy is easy if I use Crunch? That'd be crazy. I don't know why also. Like, TT can bounce off walls and just keep going. Poor bumper. Whenever I bounce off walls, I get pranked. 
I think I'm way closer this time, actually. So the funny thing about this guy, whatever his name is, Pedo, I'm gonna call him that because he sounds weird. Bubbly, maybe. Blueby? I don't know, that's probably his name, Bubbly. Bubbly over here is, uh, or any boss, actually. They always take the same path. So if you're way far ahead, well, like I said, there's no rubber banding in this game. That's probably good, because if you were using TT and way ahead of the boss, he would catch up to you. That's why they don't have bosses in Mario Kart 64. Been improving. So I'm really close. That kind of sucks I hit that sand patch. I'm really close to this dude. Uh, I don't know. It's getting the red. Stupid freaking RNG log. Yep, I'm gonna get TT. <sighs> I'm not waiting. I'll try it with Crunch. So this is supposed to be a bumper pu No, I'll use Banjo. Banjo's faster. Fox is what he's got. I don't know, I'm still kind of in the same situation I was uh, with what's his face. Bumper. But, uh. Pretty sure I could win this with Banjo. Mm. That's not good. Actually, that might be good. I'm not sure. Frick this game! So, okay, screw this. I'm, I'm not even wasting my time anymore. Would be... Uh, bumper in the... In the hovercraft. Kind of... Look, I bumped the wall twice. Nothing. Nothing. He's letting all of his bubbles out. I'm right ahead of him. Just barely. Oh, look, it's over. The game's over. I've already won. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, if I could just pallet swamp to Bumper right now, and then I would win the rest of the race, because now I'm ahead of him. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's stupid. Now, of course, TT's meant to be overpowered, but... I'm actually gonna do the speedrun strength, just see how far ahead I can get from this guy. As far away from this pedo as possible. I ain't need the blue balloon. I am just gliding. I'm pretty sure this this is that's true. This is a uh, oh look, I'm catching up to stupid freaking bubbles. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna overlap them, obviously, but let's see just how far we're at. Get from them. Oh, look, I'm catching his bubbles. Oh look, it's more of his bubbles. Oh wow. Whoop that booty. Whoop 10. I want to show every single just to see how overpowered TT is. Well, this episode's over. It's 25 minutes long. It'll actually be edited a little bit. But I'm sorry I had to bring out the TT. But I mean, what you guys are probably going to see is just all this cut out. All of it. You don't see any of the goodbye. Feeling is mutual. And of course, if I 100% sped around this game, this wouldn't be a problem because, I mean, you, you just saw what happened. TT just blows him out of the water, but... And it's not even... It's just the second one. Just the second one. The second one's the only annoying one. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, we can see TT's face. Ah. Where's... Why are both of his hands on the 6? It's 6.30, guys. Yay, Taj! <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, in the next, in the eighth episode of the Econ Racing Month. Honestly, this world isn't bad, but that boss just ruins. Whoa, space time continuum. What's ah. big boy? Yeah, no, he's he's my older brother, my fatter brother, because his little clock hand is moving, mine is not. But, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, honestly, I've actually, I kind of like this world a little bit more. Uh, if I didn't have to do the second boss, we just close off that cavern, the rest of this world's awesome.
So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, thanks for tuning in to your hotspot friend 64 gaming, and uh, God bless. See you guys.